So you want to know what the grand prize is, huh? I am the grand prize. I come in a beautiful basket. That's what it is. That's what you're going to get. Something else that Shakespeare said also, uh, I think, Ben, you should check this. Fecalicious or not fecalicious? That is the question. Let's make it fecalicious. We have a beautiful purple eggplant. We also know this as Japanese eggplant. We're going to take very, very slight cut so the eggplant can sit now, and then we're going to cut right in half lengthwise. Don't try to turn this around and cut it with the skin because it's going to make it very difficult for you. Leave it on the skin side and cut the flesh. And as you can see, it's going to be much easier because the blade touches the flesh and cuts right through it. The skin is a protective skin, so it's going to stop the knife and it's going to make it difficult. The same thing happens to you when you cut tomato. Drizzle of extra virgin olive oil in the pan. First cold press. I keep repeating these details because I want you to remember this. 385 degrees is the smoke point of olive oil. So we have a hot pan and we toss a little bit. One more thing about eggplant, everybody. Eggplant is a sponge, just like mushroom. It absorbs oil immediately. So be gentle. Don't worry about it if you see suddenly your oil is drying out. It's going to come back into the party. Next, we're going to get a zucchini here. Cut the ends off. We're going to cut lengthwise. And this one, you don't have to worry about it. I had to do this to show off because Ben said, Chef, I want to see some of your knife skills here. So I decided to do this for you. The zucchini goes in there. We are going to allow these two to come together. And we're going to use the extension of our hand, which is this heat resistant spatula. Your tongues that we tend to use all the time is the extension of your fingers and you're going to break your ingredients. Oh, mm, beautiful. A little bit of sea salt. As these are searing and cooking a little bit, they're going to absorb the oil, but at the same time their pores is going to open and release their water content. Add a little bit of garlic here and now come back. Let's cut some onions. Now everybody, you can certainly do this as you're doing it. The beauty of this dish is you do not need to have too much of the prep pre-done. But everything is going to cook together. The Sicilian know this dish as a caponata. It's usually served cold or warm. This is the warm application. For those of you that watch me on Real Milwaukee on Wednesday, I did the cold application with a beautiful fresh mozzarella and a basil pesto on top. This is going to be cooked with a little bit of chicken. Once this caramelizes, I need everybody to remember something. If I just cook right now and add liquid to this, I would stop the caramelization process of the onion. You're going to miss a layer of flavor there, which is the natural sugar intensifying. So I'm going to let all of these caramelize together and come together. I want to show you how it's done completely in one pan. We're going to cook our asparagus in that one pan with the help of this steam. We're going to cook the chicken in that one pan. I am a genius. And what? Why? Why? Because of you guys. Because I want to show you how it's done. When we come back, I'm going to finish caramelizing, create the sauce, put our other ingredients together, and let everything cook together. Help of the sea salt has been added, and now a little bit of black pepper. This is your flavor forecast. I know Justin is in the house, and he's going to give you the weather forecast. Hey, Chef, uh, I, I've got to tell you a little secret here. The only reason why I'm really here is because I knew you were going to be here. So I, 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 I volunteered you. to fill in for Brittany, knowing I might get a little taste of what you're cooking. I love you, baby. It's yours, Justin. So I'll quickly do the weather.